Hello, my name is James Sullivan. I play principal oboe with the Alabama Symphony. My band director in fifth grade played his oboe for us on occasion, mainly because he couldn't keep control of the class, so he would perform for us, and it held our attention, and I just fell in love with the sound. I think most oboe players fall in love with the sound. I grew up in North Georgia in a really small town called Carnesville. It's halfway between Atlanta and Greenville, South Carolina. I've been in Birmingham, last year was my 20th season. So this is my 21st year. It's, it's very difficult when you're first starting the oboe because the instrument itself has to be in alignment, in adjustment, um, and it's very difficult to know exactly what to blame. Is it something you're doing wrong? Is the instrument out of adjustment? The oboe has a, a reputation for being difficult to play. My band director that would not let me switch to oboe was an oboist himself, and he made really great reads. So I was a little spoiled when I first started because I had access to handmade reads. And then he eventually left and I bought my first, what we call, store-bought read, and then the reality set in. All of my grandparents were great with flowers as well as edible foods, and so I was subjected um, to just great gardeners from a very early age. When I got the job with the uh, Alabama Symphony, I lived in an apartment for several years, but my main motivation for buying a house was to have somewhere to build a greenhouse. So um, I've been in my house about 15 years, so I, I have a pretty, pretty nice greenhouse now, and um, I have way too many orchids. When I was a sophomore in college, my home church choir lost their choir director. So they asked me if I wanted to just try to get them through the rough patch until they could find a new choir director. That basically never happened. I fell in love with it from the first minute. Somehow I managed to um, get a job as the, the choral director at Buford High School in North Atlanta, which was a, and is a very, very strong choral program. After I, I taught high school for one year, I knew that I had a big decision to make whether I was going to continue the choral path or whether I was going to pursue oboe. It was a separate career. I mean, oboe took precedence, choir was put by the wayside, and five years ago, the Unitarian Universalist Church choir position, choir director position, came open. It worked out, and it's the first time I could actually combine my two careers. When I look out in the congregation on Sunday mornings, an extra incentive or benefit is I'm looking at the people that I was looking at Saturday night because such a huge amount of our people support the symphony and support the arts in general. So the choir is made up of people that are just um, unbelievably gifted and um, in so many ways it's such a, di a diverse congregation and choir and I just feel you know honored to be a part of it. I mean the past five years being able to do both things that I adore is really it's been a real dream. Oh, yeah.